Hi, I'm Kip from KipHakes.tv and today I'm talking all about this. And this is my PC and basically I use it for everything. I use it for work, I use it for streaming, I use it for video editing and occasionally I use it for playing games. Now you might recall I did a video all about when I built this computer and it has changed quite considerably since then. So I thought I'd give you a little update and show you what's inside. Because honestly, some of the people in the comments on that video, they weren't happy at all. No, oh, I was I was getting rage because I dared use a single channel of RAM and uh, they weren't happy with the graphics card I had, but hopefully, hopefully this, this video will make anyone happy. I'm happy, I've got a great computer, so I thought I'd show you inside. But before I do that, I just want to quickly tell you about my Patreon. Basically, I've got a Patreon account and if you subscribe to it, you get to see these videos a lot sooner than anyone else. And you get to see a little bit behind the scenes and also your supports and pledges help me like pay for stuff like this. I can't make these videos without you and just joining up to my Patreon is amazing. <coughs> and also on Patreon, you just see that outtake where I just sneezed. <laughs> Anyway, right, I guess uh, it's time to step inside the computer. But we, before we do, I just want to say, I think building a computer is brilliant. It's not too hard to do. You know, if you follow a handy step-by-step -step guide that's on YouTube, maybe. Yeah, I think it's a great way of getting to know your machine. And I feel like I know this bad boy inside and out. And also a good thing about having something like this is it's not a finished work of art. You can always go back and add more. And that's kind of the point of this video. Although I started off with a slightly underpowered machine, now, once I could afford the extra bits, it's absolutely amazing. So yeah, let's have a little look and uh, I'll tell you all about what makes up this computer. So first up, we've got this Corsair Spec Delta case. It's a good case. I think maybe if I was gonna do this again, I'd get a slightly bigger case just to make the cable management around the back a little bit easier, but it's certainly not too bad at all. Now there were a lot of questions in the previous video about the fans on the front and the RGB. Um, controller and basically lots of people were saying well there's only one RGB controller output but yet there are three fans how, how does that work and basically with the case you get a splitter and that sends the RGB signals to the three fans and it just goes into one connector that you can plug onto the motherboard now the thing is I've got this fan as well and that uh, uses the AuraSync RGB to sort of time it all up together as well so that means I've got four going into one so I needed to get another splitter that does that basically splitters you'll need a splitter um, and it all depends on your motherboard and your fans on exactly which one you get but I've got a four to one and it works absolutely fine right and the thing that powers it is right in here you can't really see it but it's a Corsair CX 550 PSU that's a 550 watt again that is a that's a good sort of chunky size PSU it's not the biggest you can get I could have maybe gone for a slightly higher wattage one, but it seems to do the job and it's also a modular PSU. So basically you only plug in the cables that you need. So you don't have a mass of wires that aren't connected to anything, which is really good when you want to sort of have a relatively tidy build. I mean, this isn't like the tidiest build you've ever seen, but I think I've done all right. And the motherboard is the Asus Tough Gaming B450 Plus. It's a good motherboard. It's sort of, you know, it's not top end, it's not bottom end, it's like firmly at the middle to top and it certainly does the job brilliantly well. I'm happy with it. I don't think I'd make any changes to that at all. And then up here we've got the processing unit. I went the, down the IMD Ryzen 7 route. This is the 2700X and it has got the stock cooler in. Lots of people are like, oh, stock coolers, they don't get it cool enough. It's been absolutely fine. It's not overheated. I've not had any throttling or anything like that. The stock cooler seems to do a good job. I think maybe if I was gonna get a new case and had a bit more room in there, I might look at some water cooling, but I'm perfectly happy with this right now. Ah, the RAM. Why are you running single channel RAM? I'm not running single channel RAM anymore. All those RAM slots are full and they have got 
16 gigabyte sticks in each of them. Now that is the Corsair Vengeance DDR4 3000 megahertz RAM. And yeah, it is fully loaded with 64 gigabytes of RAM. So it flies. <laughs> right, now let's talk about this bad boy. This is a Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2070 Super with eight gigabytes of RAM. With that being the RTX, that is a ray tracing model and so it supports ray tracing. It's not like the top one, because that's the 2080, but it's not the bottom one, which is the 2060. This is firmly in the middle, and it is basically the most I could afford. It is an expensive GPU, although the uh, 3000 series is coming out soon, so that will bring the prices down, but I am loving this. It's really good, it handles the stream beautifully, and you can play games as well as you stream. It is a really good GPU. It costs a lot of money, but I love it. I think my only problem is it uses some weird gigabyte um, lighting stuff to control this, which was very buggy and crashy, and I had to disable it. Um, I think I can hack it to work on the Aura Sync as some way, but um, I'm gonna look into that at some point. But yeah, when this lights up, it doesn't match the others, which is a little bit annoying. Round the back, I'm not gonna bother to take the back off and show you them, but I've got a one terabyte and two terabyte SSD drive, and they are crucial MX500 ones. Now, the MX500 one terabyte drive came out of my old computer, and I've had that for a while. The two terabyte one is relatively new, and basically, I just use the one terabyte one for the operating system and the apps, and the two terabyte one for storing all my videos for video editing. These 4K files take up a lot of room. So nestled under the GPU, I've got two Elgato capture cards. One is the HD60 Pro and the other is the 4K60 Pro. Now you might be wondering why I've got two capture cards. Well, one of them takes a feed from this camera. That's my Canon M50 and that's basically what I use for vlogging at my desk and doing the streaming on. And the other, the HD60 Pro, that is what I plug my games console into when I'm streaming. It's probably a bit of an overkill having the 4K one at the moment because we don't stream in 4K, but I do record in 4K. So, yeah, you know, I could probably get away with two of the 1080p cards, but I just thought for future proofing and there wasn't much difference in price, I'd buy the slightly better Elgato card. And, you know, in future, when 4K streaming is a thing, I'm gonna have an amazing looking stream. So performance wise, I'm really happy with this. Anything I throw at it, it just seems absolutely fine. Really good. I can render videos really quickly. I can stream well. And my work in AutoCAD and SketchUp is just lightning fast. So it is a great little unit. I dread to think how much it costs to make. Um, might be about the 2000 pounds mark, maybe-ish, I don't know. The graphics card certainly bumps it up as well as the Elgato cards and of course all that RAM, but I think it's going to do me for a while. I think if I'm going to change anything in the future, I might get a slightly bigger case and maybe maybe a slightly better CPU, but I don't think that's going to be this year because it's really good. I'm really happy with it and it just does exactly what I want it to do. So yeah, that is my PC build. Now, obviously I'm no PC expert, but I think, I think I've got a good unit here. Um, if you've got any questions or anything like that, please do drop a comment. But yeah, now I've got to finish dusting it, because that's why it's up on my desk, because it needs a dust. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with the dusting and say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to um, uh, like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya!